Welcome back to the Breakdown with Luke. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Anchor's small budget-friendly power station. This is a small power station with a USB-C, two USBs, two standard wall outlets, and even a car charger as they call it. I grew up calling this the cigarette lighter, but it's got a lot of ports on this. It's got built-in light. It's good for a lot, but it's also not good for other things. We're gonna break down the pros and cons of this, the limitations you need to be aware of, and more. As if you're like me, you're looking for power stations as a part of your emergency kit, just to make sure you're ready for any natural disasters or other issues that may come up. We'll be breaking down the pros and cons of this, though. First, a few quick disclaimers. This was not a review unit. I did buy it with my own money to review for you. Second, pricing on this changes so rapidly, I hate to give you a price and have it be wrong. I'll put a link to this on Amazon in the first pinned comment in the show notes down below. Lastly, if you like what we do here, please consider hitting that subscribe button or hitting that thumbs up. Doing one or both lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here, so YouTube recommends our videos to more people. With that said, let's dive into it. This is the power bank by Anchor. You see you got two standard outlets here. Uh, now there is a little button here that turns those on and off. They're not always on by default. You just gotta click that. It does have a standard USB, USB um, two of them, and a USB-C. And then there is this little light here that you can turn on and off with this little button on the side. It's a little two watt light, but does a pretty good job filling up a small room. And then you got the car charger adapter there with it. On the back, there is a DC in. It does come with a two adapters, a standard wall adapter for rapid charging. This is about two hour charging and a car adapter with that too. There is a little um, LED display here that you can turn on to find out how much power is. It gives you other information like how long to recharge is fully done um, and other details like power usage. You can also charge it through USB-C here if you want to plug into this USB-C to a wall charger with it. Let's take a look at everything that came with this. Talk about a few pros and cons. Let's start off with a um, big con. Not everything is going to charge off this. Uh, for example, if you're buying this to run your coffee maker, you're going to be out of luck. Um, there's just not enough wattage in this for most coffee makers. They take really hot heat plates. They pull a lot of wattage to do that to heat up the coffee to give you hot coffee. This doesn't have the power to do that. Also, only has three USB ports, and only one of those is a USB-C. Um, so I think for a lot of people who are looking to charge this for uh, phones, like if you have a, for example, in my house, well, we have three people with cell phones, wireless earbuds, tablets, Nintendo Switches. There are similarly priced battery packs like this that have a lot of high power uh, USB and USB-C ports to charge a lot of phones. This is more looking to target other devices to make sure you can keep laptops running that may not have a USB-C. It advertises five hours of being able to run a mini fridge. Your experience may vary depending on your fridge and other similar features. It's a really nice little battery pack it's for uh, having an emergency supply there. If you need to make sure, especially if you need the ability to plug into a traditional outlet, this is really nice. You just need to be aware that it's not going to do things like toasters and um, our coffee makers because of the high wattage to do the heating with that. But other devices like laptops and other needs may be just perfect. It's a great way maybe you're working out and you wanna enjoy that great outdoors as you get your work done on your laptop to make sure your laptop keeps powered. It's a pretty nice uh, battery pack. Just be aware again, the wattage, make sure it fits what you need. You look that up on the Amazon page. It will run most devices, but some things like coffee makers and toasters that require real high wattage, it's not gonna do. It also does come with multiple ways to charge it through the two included cords or USB-C. I do really like that. I do wish it had more USB ports on it because this will charge your phone up to 20 times. And you know, for me, keeping this in our emergency kit could be a nice way to charge it. But I would prefer something with six ports, right? If I'm charging all three of our phones, tablets, whatever, to make sure we're connected, I wish I had more for that. Beyond that though, I'm gonna give this two thumbs up. For what it is, as long as you're aware of its limitations and it works for you, it's excellent. The small form size of the um, battery pack is perfect for, uh, especially if you live like in an apartment or in a small space or you're boondocking with this, you don't wanna have a huge massive battery pack. You just wanna make sure you have an emergency battery pack to get you through short-term emergencies if you lose power for a day or two. This may be perfect for that. So overall, two thumbs up, would recommend, be aware of the limitations, understand what you wanna use it for, make sure it fits that need before you buy it. 
You can find a link to this on Amazon in the first pinned comment and in the show notes. Make sure to hit that subscribe. We have over 500 reviews just like this one. We'll be back again real soon with another video.